All right, Justin. Well, look at this time now uh -oh. for a special edition of yes, the Bell Breakdown. That's right. There it is. All right. uh, <laughs> it's like Rocky in here. <laughs> All right, there aren't too many new movies out this week. So actually, Josh Bell, Las Vegas Weekly's film editor, here as usual. But we're going to talk underrated or underappreciated mm, yeah, Christmas like movies that you can watch now at home. Right. Yeah. It's December first, so it's time to watch Christmas movies. It is. Right? Yes. Yeah. Sounds and good. Watching some of these trailers, I thought, oh, this looks good. We're, like this first one, Arthur Christmas is your first pick. Yeah, and this is a great movie for families. It's an animated movie from uh, Aardman, the studio that makes the Wallace and Gromit movies. And it came out a few years ago. It wasn't a huge hit, but I think it's it's got the potential to become a family favorite. It's about uh, Arthur, who is the son of Santa Claus. He's kind of the awkward, unloved son of Santa Claus, and he has to prove himself by delivering a uh, lost present on Christmas Eve. It's got that same dry humor as the Wallace and Gromit movies, a lot of fun puns, and, and, and it's a very British sense of humor. Uh, but it has a nice family message as well. It's not too shrill like some of these animated Christmas movies yeah. are. So if you've watched uh, the various uh, animated ones over and over again, give this one a shot. All right, next on the list here, we have a very Harold and Kumar Christmas. What yes. is this about? This is from 2011. Uh, it's the uh, third movie in the Stoner <laughs> movie series. If you remember yeah. Harold and Kumar going to White Castle. Oh, didn't they lose a car or something? And uh, uh, they, they lose a lot of things. Yeah. 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 So this time they're on a quest for the perfect Christmas tree. Oh, okay. So it's got the same kind of goofy <laughs> stoner humor to it. Uh, but it actually has a nice message about them reconnecting Shot as friends. John Cho He's and Cal Penn, who play Harold and Kumar, have great chemistry, and you got Neil Patrick Harris showing up as himself. Uh, yeah. And it, it's it's goofy, but it's fun. It, this one's not for family. Well, okay. maybe now that, that uh, marijuana is rec uh, recreational right. legal, legal, it, it brings yes. new life to the movie. Maybe it's we'll a perfect see. time for it, yes. <laughs> okay, Happy Christmas out in 2014. What's Happy Christmas about? from uh, Joe Swanberg, a very prolific indie director, does a lot of stuff on Netflix. Uh, the, Show Easy uh, is his that's actually premiering today with a new hey. season. But this movie from a few years ago hey, with so Anna sure. Kendrick and Melanie Linsky is a low key family story about two sisters who uh, kind of reconnect after one of them has gone through a breakup and moves in with her sister. And it's about both of them kind of figuring out their lives at the holiday season. And it's not this big, overblown family uh, yeah. thing that we get a lot of Christmas movies, but yeah. it, it's, a, it's a nice movie about finding yourself at the holidays. And again, these are all available right now. Uh, the other one you have in your list is Christmas Again. Christmas Again, another uh -huh. very small indie film, a uh, low-key story about a Christmas tree salesman uh, on a Christmas tree lot in New York City, actually living in a trailer on the Christmas tree lot, kind of his interactions with the various interesting people who come to buy Christmas trees, and another story about someone finding themselves at the holidays, trying to figure out their lives while Christmas is going on around them. Yeah, this is a good a good list. They all look really interesting. And then this one, I wasn't sure, is it Krampus? Am I saying Krampus, it right? Krampus, Okay, yes. I was worried when I clicked play here, but it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, this is a Christmas horror movie. I could have done this whole segment about Christmas horror movies, which I love. Mm -hmm. uh, but we got one here from uh, a few years ago with Adam Scott, Tony Collette, Alison Tolman. So it's funny as well as scary uh, about the sort of evil flip side of Santa terrorizing this family at Christmas time. <laughs> this, um, this fall in the category of not the family Christmas movie. Yeah, though, right? not yes. for the family. Okay. Although I, this movie actually has kind of a nice message about family bonding. And <laughs> it's more than just... Uh, creepiness and, and comedy, uh, and it's well acted. I, I think if you're looking for a little scares, this is this is the one to, ch uh, to check out. Yeah, All right, looks so, decent. Uh, so Dane and I were talking, well, what would be our picks, right? Yeah. So we each got one, mm -hmm. we, and I, my, one of my favorite Christmas movies is Die Hard, right? Of course. Hello. Oh, Which I didn't think much. is a Christmas movie, but then I'm like, oh yeah. Well, it takes place during Christmas, so right. therefore yeah. it is a Christmas it, it's movie. It's become stretch, sort of a right? Christmas perennial <laughs> lately. I think yeah. a lot of people pick it these yeah. days. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you love Die Hard, and that is definitely a classic. And I love The Family Stone, but some people that I tell that to say, Oh, I didn't like that movie, but some people are like, oh yeah, that's one of my favorites too. So I find that interesting. What did you think of that movie, Josh? I actually have not seen that movie, really? so okay. that'll be oh. my movie to see this Christmas. Yeah, it's really good. It's a, There's a lot, there's, there's a, some fights at the dinner table, and some right. people don't like that whole thing, but I think it's kind of funny, yeah. so I, I don't saw know, that big movie. family I thought thing. it was very good. Yeah, yeah, so that's my favorite. I don't know if it's underrated, but some people often do say, eh, I'm not so sure, but. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll have to check it out. We'll get Josh Bell's breakdown on go. it yeah. before Christmas. In the future. Josh, thanks so much. Really good list there. As always, we love of the bell breakdown. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Happy Fridays, too. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back.